While Datafork is a managed service, there are many configurations exposed to you as a user. If the configurations are not done properly, it can lead to failures during cluster creation. In this video, you will learn how to troubleshoot such failures in Datapark. The most common issues in creating Datapark clusters are networking problems, missing IAM permissions, incorrect Datapark and Hadoop properties, and failures in custom initialization actions. Troubleshooting a cluster creation error might seem overwhelming at first, but there are many tools available in Google Cloud Platform to help you. Here are the most handy ones. Cloud logging gathers logs from all Google Cloud components and has lots of filters for quickly finding what you're looking for. Cloud monitoring collects metrics from cluster components, like information about memory, CPU, networking, and jobs. A diagnostic table is a snapshot of logs and configurations from a cluster. It is useful for the cloud support team to perform advanced investigations. In this episode, I will walk you through how to use each of these tools to troubleshoot a live data park cluster creation issue. Let's get started. Go to the Data Park Clusters page in Google Cloud Console. Click on Create Cluster, customize the cluster according to your needs, and click Create. Oops, cluster creation failed. To investigate this issue, I'll start with cloud logging by going to Logs Explorer page. Select a time interval that includes the cluster creation failure and click Apply. I'll keep it as the last hour. In the left-hand side pane, set the resource type to Cloud Data Park Cluster. Ensure the severity is set to error. You can narrow down the search by filtering based on the cluster's name or its UUID, in case there are multiple clusters by the same name. So let's take a look. Aha! The error indicates that one of the service accounts involved is missing the Compute Subnetworks Use permission for the shared VPC used by the cluster. This is important because Datapark needs the permission to create VMs in the shared VPC. If you are not sure about the error, then search the public docs for the error or the permission, which should help you address the issue. According to the docs, the network user role should be assigned to the Datapark service agent in the shared VPC's host project in order for this to work. Go to IAM and Admin, IAM page, click Grant Access, fill out the principal's email address, and select the intended role. Click Save, and wait for a few minutes so the permissions can propagate. Let's try creating the cluster again. Hmm, the cluster still seems to be failing after a while. Let's check out cloud logging again. Good news is that the error about IAM permissions is gone, but now we're getting this new timeout error when the cluster nodes try to talk to each other. This sounds like a networking problem. Reviewing the error message carefully hints at possible firewall issues. Since firewall misconfiguration is the most common type of network issue in the cloud, I'm going to check for packets dropped by the firewall in cloud monitoring. Navigate to Metrics Explorer from the search bar or the navigation menu at the left. Select the correct time frame from the top right corner. I will keep it as the last hour. On the resource and metrics in the left pane, Search for Firewall. Review the metrics description to make sure it is relevant. Click Apply. From the left-hand menu, you may filter the VM instances based on their cluster. Click Add Filter. Set the label to Data Park Cluster Name or UUID. Add your target cluster's name or UUID in the value field. And click Done. And that proves it. There are quite a lot of packets being denied by the firewall in this network. To fix this issue, I'll add a rule for allowing traffic between all cluster nodes in the shared VPC's host project. Remember, it will take a few minutes for the new rules to propagate. Let's try creating the cluster once more. Great, it's working now. If the information from cloud logging and cloud monitoring is not sufficient for you to diagnose your issue, then you can create a diagnostic tarball using the diagnose command. Use this command to create the tarball for your data per cluster. This saves the tarball to your cluster's cloud storage bucket. Follow the instructions in the command's output to allow cloud support access to the file. Remember to share the tarball's address with Google Cloud support as part of your support case. 
For more information about cloud logging, cloud monitoring, and the diagnostic command, check out these documentations.